Tonight in the news, Operation Bush coming in full force. Six persons rescued from hands of Igwebe and train abductors. Weeks before exit of old Naira notes in circulation, correspondent takes a look at level of compliance by commercial banks. And get your PVC, Governor Baseki tells citizens. A very good evening to you. It's always a pleasure having you in the news. My name is Ogoch Kukaona and we are reaching you live from Benin, Edo State. The Minister of State for Transportation, Ademola, Adewole, Adoguroye, and the Managing Director, Nigeria Railway Corporation, Fidel Okiria, have visited Igwebe Railway Station in Edo State. This is with an assurance that further steps will be taken to avert future occurrence. Since the railway corporation, we work with the host communities to ensure that security is beefed up at the railway stations, urging the host communities to see the facilities as their own. I to see you, this community, the entire issue, and under your leadership, take proactive steps to ensure that federal government infrastructure within your localities is protected. And to this end today, we have decided and we have mandated the NRC through the MD of the NRC. Thank God is one of is the son. Is doing well. I've mandated him on the immediate establishment of what we call the Nigerian Railway Corporation Stroke Host Communities Relations Committee. Managing Director, Nigerian Railway Corporation, Fidel Uhiria, is optimistic that services will be restored in a few days' time. We had a few while they are planning, we also be planning to ensure that uh, we don't have such a situation again. And uh, I believe it's a process. And I uh, pray we don't lose people while they are in trouble. The entourage of the minister also paid a courtesy visit to the palace of the Onoji of Igweben Kingdom, His Royal Highness, Izoji Elujero I, in Benin. In the meantime, six persons out of the 31 passengers kidnapped by bandits last Saturday have been rescued alive as search teams of the police force intensify efforts to rescue others. Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nehikari, was briefing newsmen in Benin. Elizabeth Omoko reports. All right, that story will be brought to you in the course of the bulletin. And away from that, few weeks to the January 31st deadline when old Naira notes of 200, 500 and 1,000 will cease to be legal tender, the Apex Bank had directed the commercial banks across Nigeria to load their automated teller machines with only the new bank notes to ensure circulation before deadline. Correspondent Ifoma Okafo visited some ATMs in Benin Metropolis to ascertain the level of compliance by the commercial banks on the directive and citizens to the development. A visit to most banks revealed that the ATMs still dispense the old Naira notes to customers despite directive from the Apex Bank. Some banks before now had issued statements assuring their customers of getting the new Naira notes, but with withdrawal limits, which may have caused the high number of people at the ATMs across the state capital. Many customers who spoke to NTA News say it was a mirage getting the new Naira notes from the ATMs, alleging that the banks may not have enough new notes for circulation and are apprehensive that they may not meet up with the deadline of phasing out the old notes. Right from December, I've been withdrawing. If you understand me, I have not set my eyes on the new note. In any or any other of the denomination, I have not seen any single one. But I come to surprise, how are they going to affect it that to meet up that deadline on 31st? Well, okay, it's because of your presence there. Yeah? That is why you see they are blocking this thing. Because since morning, they have been, this is my twice, two times of coming to withdraw. And it has been always the old case, getting new old, case, old notes. My coming today, I was thinking I would collect a new, I would collect new neural notes. But su surprisingly, I'm taking the old notes. The government needs to do something about it now, so that the new Nera note can come into existence. The ATM paid with the old notes. I have now withdrawn from the ATM, which I have not gotten the new notes from the ATM since 
since I started withdrawing, since the money came out. I've seen just 1,000 Naira and the 200 Naira. I've not seen the 500, but it's in limited quantity. I've not seen it in bulk. The Central Bank of Nigeria in October 26 of 2022 announced plans to redesign the denomination notes and had pegged the old notes to cease to be legal tender by January 31st, this 2023. In Benin, a former Okafor, for NTA News. Now the holiday is over for pupils and students in both, both public and private schools as academic activities for a new term resumed today. Obe Hiotoba Prasai reports on compliance to the resumption date. Earlier 6.30 in the morning, the gates of most private schools visited were open to receive pupils and their parents for the first day of this academic session. While some are happy to resume, others dread the stress that comes with the school runs, especially for schools with strict resumption and pick-up times. When what staff from here is stopped now last time, well, I know it's not easy, Sha, but God will help us today. It was not easy to wake them up. Bro. They were like, Mommy, I want to sleep small now, small. I said, we go, we go, sister, sister, get up, let's go. You just have to do what you can to meet up with the time. For the children, it is pure eagerness to learn and reunite with classmates. I'm very happy that school is doing today because well, like every time uh, the students here uh, will take care of students to be doing today, I'm very happy. I'm very happy because I'm with my friends There is, however, a contrast in the situation at some public schools. As at 30 minutes past 7 in the morning, when NTA crew visited Ogwe Primary School, the pupils were yet to arrive, although some of the teachers were already at their duty posts. Academic activities for the second term is expected to pick up before the week runs out. In Benin, Obehio Tupa Prasai, NTA News. And this is to let you know once again that this news is being streamed on our YouTube channel, NTA Benin. You can subscribe and be part of the news online. And you can reach out to the NTA Benin newsroom on any breaking news and happenings in Edo State. And the number to call is 091-535-59648. WhatsApp messages are also welcome. And now we take a break. We'll be right back with more reports. Please stay tuned. Next time you visit the ancient city of Benin, two things will excite you. The want and welcome of its people, and of course, the class and style of its hospitality business. Randeki Gold, home of hospitality like no other. Located in one of the most serene environments in the ancient city. Truly classy and exquisite with world-class facilities. Fully equipped digital multipurpose hall with life-size ultra-high definition LED screen. 180 square meters king size swim pool with bubble bath. Enough to leave you breathless. The exotic Ariel's Bistro and Grill Restaurant with variety of continental dishes, especially some of the rarest delicacies you can find in town. Fact is, a visit will truly convince you that we are gold. Rendeki Gold is the gold wing of the prestigious Rendeki Royal Hotel at 6 Uhenuyi Street off Ihama and Boundary Roads, GRA Benin City, www.rendekihotels.com. Rendeki Gold, our hospitality is gold. Edo State University, Uzari, owned by the Edo State Government, is pleased to inform all parents, guardians and students that the date for the resumption of activities for the ongoing 2022-2023 academic session is Saturday, the 14th of January, 2023. Management of Edo State University, Uzari, wishes to also inform the general public that the dates for the third supplementary admission screening have been slated for Thursday, the 12th of January, 2023, and the venue is Edo State University, Uzari. Hurry now to the school's website on www.edouniversity.edu.ng to fill your forms as there are a few admission spaces still available in the school. The third supplementary admission does not include the departments of medicine, nursing and law. Edo State University Uzari, we develop leaders. Announcer, Abib Akalifo, Acting Registrar. Oh, 
ere do ego ipo ba o ka ohun ade agbewo via kiburin o wa ya mu egbe na ya sin mi o sege ne do wa ge aze o ge omo ka mo no ye bu no ye do igu obazi o idole bu no ga se ti an ze nunu e do bi ko gba ka na na ju in ora buja na te sinet na gu apage mata mi na la o te do omo go matu a egbu un eze do ye kire e ke bu ya mu no ari ko gba ka ni no ya ki o ya ne do o ma ye ku mu edo de omo no awu an ka nu hun da i ko gba ka ni e ina na fi ko to ana bi e hun de omo no ene gbe e unu no ze do ga gi no ga ma ne do wa gi aze matu a gbu hun eze idu o ye kire no ga ri e sinet babuja we ni pdp o tu no ye kara zama pdp e tin bi e bu pdp o tu no ke ami o te nigeria fa it's finally here. Yes, the one-stop shop for everything electronics. Benin City, let's jubilate. It's Uyi Technical Electronics Mall, 45 Adesawa Road, Benin City. Are your next shopping mall for authentic, high-quality electronics of major brands like LG, Samsung, Scanfrost, Nexus, Hisense, and more. Get quality, authentic brand products like refrigerators, side-by-side -side fridges, deep freezers, front and top load washing machines, gas cookers, air conditioners, OLED and other varieties of television, DVD pliers, home theater, stand-in fans, home appliances, generators of different brands and sizes. You name it, we've got it. Get the best bargain and authentic products at Uyi Technical Electronics Mall, 45 Adesua Road, opposite Winners Chapel by Ihama Junction, GRA Benin City. Uyi Technical Electronic Mall, everything in Electronics, we dare to stand out. And now straight off to politics. House of Assembly candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, Destiny Heyerobo, who is seeking to represent the people of Hego constituency at the Edo State House of Assembly, has promised to attract more democratic dividends to the area if elected. The NNPP candidates made the promise when he met with elders and stakeholders in Uselu community. Jude Abugu reports. The NNPP House of Assembly candidate who first called at the heart of the Odoe of Uselu for blessings also solicited for the support of the elders, chiefs, and members of the community to actualize his political ambition. He thereafter stormed Uselu Town Hall, where supporters and party members gathered to receive him. The interaction enabled Destiny and Herobo to further share his visions and programs for a good constituency with his supporters. I'm going to bring the ears of the government to the Ego people and whatsoever their heart desires is at that time, it will be meant. I will bring development to the youth, scholarship and the rest. He has a very good promise and we are standing by him. As far as I'm concerned, the HGA chairman, all from what what to what day, we are fully, fully in behind him. Taking off from Usili Shell Junction, the candidate and his supporters visited some areas along Usili Lagos Road to seek for votes. The candidate and his supporters also distributed posters and handbills at some strategic locations in the Usili area. We have a son, an educated person that is crying to say, I want to help the people of Ego for better life, infrastructure development. He has been doing it since we started this campaign. He has been helping women. I am from Ego. Okay, so we know him very well in Ego, and we are giving him our support. He's the best candidate that will ever, ever contest in this election. The campaign climaxed at Usino Market, where the candidate, Destiny, Robo, interacted with traders in different sections of the market. In Benin, Jude Abugu, News. And elsewhere, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has urged Nigerians not to sell their permanent voters' cards ahead of the forthcoming general elections. Governor Obaseki, at the 26th edition of the Auchi Day celebration of Allah Most High in Auchi, says Nigeria has no basis for the economic hardship 
and insecurity challenges currently facing the country. Elizabeth Omoko has the details. The 2023 election is crucial and to get it right is the reason why the governor represented by the deputy governor used the opportunity of the Aochi Day celebrated every January 8th to draw the support of voting the right choice come February 25th. If you are a registered voter and you have not gotten your card, your voter's card, go and collect your PVC from the various designated INEC office. If you have your PVC already, please keep it jealousy. There are no basis for the vast majority of his people to be living in abject poverty in the land that is full of milk and honey. It is your time to use your PVC wisely. The event signifying the exceptional commitment as beaten by Auchi people who are proud of their identity is won their tower of Auchi, including the senator representing a Dome North Senatorial District, are thankful to Almighty Allah for the peace and unity enjoyed. I thank Almighty Allah who has made it possible for us and give us the light. And everybody who share in the light, you are saying that this occasion for celebrating Almighty Allah is important for you. And may all that Almighty Allah make it so. The Aouchi Day with the theme Islam is our way of life featured presentation of scholarship, trophies to those who have disagreed themselves in their intervals. There was also a show of force between hunters and vigilante groups. The, the vigilante. From Auchi, Elizabeth Omoko, NT News. And from one community to another, commuters and residents of Ekenwa are in high expectations of a desired road. This is following the ongoing rehabilitation of the 14.85 kilometers Ekenwa Ubuyoko Road by the Edo State Government. Rosemary Oman visited the area to ascertain the level of progress so far and came back with this update. Workers have returned to site after the Christmas break. They are working assiduously to ensure work completion as planned. As you can see, we have gone far. So we have gone far, the work is going. As we are working as the concrete station, the earth moving and the asphalt station are also working. Road users, on the other hand, while appreciating the state government for keeping to promise, want them to expedite action as work seems slow. Government, they try, as they do. So, may still quick. Tell the people when they do, and make the quick do. So, that before they go home. The contractor should put more effort for us using this road because of the goods coming out from this area. The road is movable now. We are happy. We really appreciate it. They also lament the unbearable dust occasioned by the palliative measures negatively affecting their businesses. They as well draw the attention of relevant authorities to the construction of more drains on the dual roads. This Mekule one I hold, so dust they enter inside. We don't tire for dust. We don't get kata, our children know if you can't stop because of this dose, and we don't bear and tire. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Roads and Bridges, Otsikena Ojo, gives reasons for the delay and apologizes for any inconveniences. He, however, added that 67% of the work has been completed. As at now, we have a total length of 14.85 kilometers to do. We have uh, about one point. One five, I think, which is a spur to one of the roads which is bringing a lot of water to a Kenwa road. And if we do not control that water, it will damage the road work that we are doing. So we have to also include that in the project in order to protect the road that we are doing. It's our intent to complete those works towards the end of, of May of 2024. He further guarantees the citizens of more rehabilitation despite the harsh economy. In Benin City, I am Rosemary Omani, NTA News. Another break is next. We'll be right back. 
Whatever your occasion, whatever your requirement, Efedusa Catering Services is well equipped to cater for the catering needs of your event. With our customized menu of mouth-watering African and continental dishes, cocktails and small chops is definitely going to be a mouth-watering experience. Our well-trained and friendly chefs and staff, our royal dining arrangement is sure to make your event grand and memorable. Be it weddings, reception, corporate function, anniversary parties, birthday celebration, funeral reception, we will render an event of distinction. We are into event planning and consultancy services. Also, our amazing Grace Event Hall, which can provide up to 500 seating capacity for any event hosting, is sure to blow your mind. Call Efedosa Catering Services on 0807-777-7291 or visit us at 51 Airport Road, Benin City, Edo State and Peck Filling Station, Uluku Junction, Uluku, Benin City. Efedosa Catering Services, caterers of distinction. just a hotel. It's a resort, a place where luxury, class, and hospitality meets. It's not just four walls. It's a reinvention. It's an idea that relaxation should be brilliant. We offer world-class services that makes the experience unforgettable. Hotel, you can't get it better. This life, I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. Allow me to flex. This Hello there. Welcome to the newest lounge in the Asian city of Benin. Hyperion Lounge, a lounge with good food, music, drinks, karaoke, networking, exclusive for VVIP, and a relaxed environment to meet the right people. Hyperion Lounge is situated at rooftop floor, which has a panoramic view of the city. Visit us at 76 Akakava Central Hotel, a Fedosa Signature, opposite First Bank, Benin City. For seat reservation, call 091-5311-1123. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Hyperion Central. Email info.hyperioncentral at gmail.com. All COVID-19 guidelines is strictly adhered. Hyperion Lounge. Exclusivity redefined. The footprints of Pa Christopher Enobuhari, 22 years after his demise, continue to draw comments and encomiums from loved ones, friends, contemporaries, and the immediate family he left behind. It was praise galore for a man described as a disciplinarian, team player, bridge builder, and epitome of love. At his 22nd memorial organized by his children in Benin, Paulo Mukago tells us more. The impact of proper parenting and good deeds of the disease created a feeling of nostalgia going by memories shared by his children and other family members. Osaike Enobakari and his siblings will forever remember the aura of love and bonding which the father symbolizes during his lifetime. For them, their father represents a special breed of people with the primary objective of transforming lives and society at large. One of the things that my dad has done very well was to make sure we're unified and we still talk to debate, you know, so we all grew up together and we're excited to come celebrate him today. Daddy was uh, somebody that was um, bold. Um, he wasn't afraid to tell you the truth in respect of who you are. It's someone who you can rely on. Someone who you trust and someone who can reach out for everybody. A man that does not want seeing people be oppressed. Whether you are his child or not, he will always fight for you. An honest man and above all, he's a great man. Amid intermittent musical interlude and dance by the children, it was glaring to even those who may not have encountered Pa Enobakari that he was indeed a good man worth celebrating.
my grandma, my granddad, everybody loved him. Loved him in the sense that if you are in a tight situation, he's there with you. Guests were lavishly entertained as the live Pam and Dex Yoki provided the requisite ambience for the ceremony. <laughs> In the name, Paul Mukago, NT News. And our earlier report where we told you that six persons out of the 31 passengers kidnapped by bandits last Saturday have been rescued alive as search teams of the police force intensified efforts to rescue others. Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nehikari, was briefing newsmen in Benin. Elizabeth Omoko will now tell us more. All right, apologies again. That report <laughs> couldn't make the news bulletin tonight. We we'll promise to come to you in our subsequent bulletin that is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Thank you always for finding time to join us. Good evening.